Welcome to my little workshop. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have. I go hard, do what I need to make it last. They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad. Cheers to my past. You know, I try to, when I'm making, I, I found that I really enjoy making toys for kids. Um, I just give them away, but it's, it, it gives me, I have a lot of fun doing it. And what I realized is I needed to perfect the way I made the toys so that I could mass produce uh, more of them and make it simpler on myself. And one of the things I was doing was I would start out, I would take one by sixes and I would, I would basically put them in my CNC machine and do both sides and then, and then glue them together. And what I found was that was a, that was a, it was a waste of time because not only I'd have to leave them glued overnight, but then I had to sand off all that glue and then router them and then put the wheels and tires on them and sand them. And um, here's one routered, still needs more sanding, still needs more sanding. Here's one that still needs a little more sanding, a little hot rod. And here's what they, they kind of end up like this. And, and that's fine, they're nice. But what I realized when I made this little dinosaur was the kids really like it. They, they, I gave away, I don't know, a couple dozen of these. But, they, but I realized these were simpler to make and, and, they, and the kids liked them just as much as, as these other cars. And so what I, what I did was I, I went into the computer I did a, a, a different type of drawing and I tried to come up with a simpler way to make a, a really simple car that, that I could produce really quickly and basically the kids would get a lot of enjoyment out of it and, and, it, and it would be easier for me to make too. And here's what I came up with. So these, <laughs> it's kind of a weird shape but I wanted to make a simple shape that the, because it's such thick wood I was going to have to use a half inch straight cut bit that was that could cut through an inch and a half material. So what I wanted to do is draw the shape where that bit could cruise around there really easily and not have too much, you know, not have to go in a, a tight spot where it couldn't get into. So I tried to design it where that bit could cut it out. And then I used a quarter inch down cut bit to, to route out the wheel wells and, and the window. And it's kind of, you know, you can put your hand on it, and roll it around. And I thought the kids would get a kick out of this, but I'll show you, um, let me show you the tool path right now. And then we'll go into the CNC machine and cut these out. Okay, we're in, we're in our Aspire software by Vectric. And here's the simple drawing that I did. It's, it's kind of funny looking, but it's going to be, I designed it this way. So there wasn't really a front and back. But there's, you know, there's obviously two sides to it, but the profile could cut out either way. It's in the center. Everything's pretty much in the center. I wanted to see if I could make something really easy that I could, that kids would like, and it didn't take too long. So I'm going to show you the tool pass. We'll go ahead and put it on 3D view. So here's the, the first tool path is the pocketing tool path. And you can flip this over and you do it on both sides. And this basically cuts out the windows and um, preview visible. It cuts out the windows and the wheel wells. So right there, the next one is going to cut out the axles. And that just, it's a half inch bit and it just plunges down through. Now this material that I'm using is an inch and a half thick. So this bit that I'm using is a, is a big bit. I'll, I'll leave a picture of it um, for you. I think it's a C... C1072 half inch straight cut bit. And that's what drills these axle holes. The pocketing bit is RD2075. The next, so we're gonna do this pocketing tool path on both sides of the car. Then we then the next time we flip it over, we plunge the axle holes through. And then the next one is the profile tool path. And we'll pre preview that. And it does three passes, and here you can see what the little crazy car is going to look like. It's pretty funny looking at this point, but I'm. let me know what you think of it in the comments. But it's going to be really easy to make, and I think kids will just have fun 
throwing it around and playing with it. Anyway, let's get over to the machine and we'll cut this out. Right here I slowed down the feed rate from 120 to 60.
And there you go, a simple drawing, some nice kids' toys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video. Let me know what you think of this. You know, it's funny, you don't know which way is the front. You could be driving it that way and driving it that way. Um, yeah, anyway, that's a kind of a, I'm gonna try to come up with something different next, maybe a shark's face or something on these. But I think cutting them out of thicker wood, that's the key. You know, I didn't have to do any gluing. I, I whipped out all three of the, by the way, it's just as easy to cut three or four of them as it is to cut one. So if you're making some, you know, make a couple extra for some other kids. That's what I do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time. Later. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple. But I wouldn't trade a 